Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video we'll be taking a look at whether Virtual Quest is playable with BTSX2 within RetroArch. Presented by Sega. I didn't actually know this game was released on PS2. Had no idea. Because I have it on GameCube. I just, I thought it was one of those things that was only released on GameCube. But it would appear I was incorrect. New game. Oh. Why is it inverted? <laughs> Begin game. Yeah, it's circle to select and X to go back. I noticed it right as I pressed X. I was like, oh. Well. Oh boy. Something tells me that's not supposed to look like that. Or maybe it is. No, it is. It is. It definitely makes it look like a, a texture issue, though. That's for sure. Whoa! So this is the inside of a forgotten server. Say, hurry up and get the data chip. We don't have much time to do this, you know. Don't get so excited, Hayami. This is my first time, remember? No dice, man. Security's gonna nab you if you just sit there. Okay, so how am I supposed to find this data chip again? Sheesh, weren't you listening? It'll be inside something you can break. So just start smashing stuff, find it, and get back here. Okay. We in control. Hell yeah. How do I start smashing stuff? Why just... Okay, everything looks completely different. Okay, that one's red lines, that one's dots. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! Punch it. It's got martial arts programs installed on it. Press the circle button to attack. Give it a try. Okay. <laughs> so now I can kick some ass. Oh, damn. There we go. Oh, uh, it's... Okay, it's X how I jump. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, w I wanted to do more. You know, another another air combo because of how cool it looked. Oh yeah, we got him. Are we in? That was another one. I just really like that combo. That's pretty cool. Pretty kick-ass. There we go, we got him. Yeah, it's looking promising. <laughs> oh, he dropped a triangle. An inverted triangle. So, this is a data chip. Sounds like you got it. Now get back here. Just log out and you'll be home free. All right. Mission success, it would seem. Yeah, it seems pretty decent. I thought the game was broken because of the the barriers, essentially. But no, I guess they're supposed to look like that. Do wish I could skip the cutscenes, though. But never mind. Back, okay? That's all that matters, right? Just let me see that data chip, okay? Hmm. What? That's it? Hey, Hayami, look, don't blame me. 
This was my first shot at treasure hunting, remember? If you keep making excuses like that all the time, you're not gonna do any better at the air bike race in Acropolis either, say? <laughs> Look, maybe I should just leave. Come on, give me one more chance, Hayami. This time, I'll find a better data chip, promise. Well, I can't get your bike ready right away anyway, so I guess... We might as well. Okay, great, sounds like a plan to me. We'll just save up enough money for parts until then. Alright, now what? Another cutscene? God damn it. Huh? Happy birthday, say. I'm sorry, but work's been so busy that I can't come home again. Oh my god, it's to Brock. It up to you, I've sent you a hunter's glove like you've always wanted. Have fun in Nexus, son. A new hunter's glove. I've never <laughs> seen this type before. God, the expressions are great. Isn't this one of those gloves that your dad makes? Then it's an original? Hey, do you think it's any good? Didn't you say that your dad was a Nexus engineer? Man, I wish I were good enough to make something like this. Really? My dad's that good? Who would have thought? I want to try logging in. Hey, say, wait a sec. Huh? Given your last treasure hunting experience, I think it'd be better if you go to the hunter site and get a hunter's license first. A hunter's license? The Hunter's Guild's an organization created to help you and fellow hunters out with things. They issue you a hunter's license when you become a guild member. It's sort of like an ID card. The guild can teach you all sorts of things, and other hunters get together. Not entirely sure why the, the subtitles disappeared, but all right. Nothing to lose by joining. Okay, let's check it out then. But their hands are massive. They're literally bigger than their head. All right. Well, as soon as I get into control, I feel pretty confident in uh, the game performance. In the not so distant future. Another unskippable cutscene. Alright, well, whatever. The of the earth. I'm still gonna call it right here, because as I say, I feel fairly confident that the game is no perfectly fine, to be honest. Not satisfied with the real world. As I say, there was a minor um, scare at the beginning because I thought the. Reality. I thought one of the barriers was like a texture glitch, but I'm pretty sure they're supposed to look like that. I guess we'll find out. I guess this cutscene is never gonna end. So I'm just going to have to say that oh, I'll, I'll give my verdict now and just end it because I can't skip the cutscenes, which kind of sucks, but whatever. But I would have to say the Virtual Quest is currently very playable, and that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.